If you have already played an Assassin's Creed game or even seen a gameplay video, you probably know the character's ability to climb everywhere, to always fall on his feet, to always find a way to hang on, and of course, you know the famous angel jump. Most of the time, it's very well done, it's very pleasant to play, and when it's well used, it generally becomes an advantage or even a success condition for many missions. So, you see me coming a mile off, I would like my lighter pirate to be able to do the same. Hey guys, it's Swan and we are back for a second devlog in which, as you can guess, we are going to talk about climbing and parkour. So, we'll see how I created my first climbing parkour system, which is still a V1 since the system will evolve in the future, we'll probably see that in future devlogs, and we'll do some 3D modeling in Blender to modify one of the roofs from the Synthi Studio Pirate Pack asset. Alright, so for this first climbing parkour system, I started from Invector, yes, again Invector, and so in basic locomotion, we have already three existing modules that work like this. When we approach, we have a little text that invites us to press E, and when we press E, the character plays an animation. So we have three of them, we have jump over, we have step up, and we have climb up. And all around these blocks, we have colliders that detect the character's presence, this is what we see here in green. When the character enters the green zone, there is an Invector script that detects him and displays this little black message. And the same script plays the animations as soon as the player presses E. So I took the different elements from the Synthi Studio Pirate Pack, for example this roof, and I added the Invector Climber block. I just had to slightly adjust the collider sizes and positions like this, and I also looked a bit in the grey box you can see on the right, which contains the different settings. For example, I didn't want the player to have to press E every time, so I removed this condition, and now the character automatically climbs when he enters the collider's green area. And so when we test it, we see that it works very well. So you saw how I did the roof, but I also did the other building elements that come with the pirate pack, like this wooden structure. As you can see, I use the same animation almost everywhere, which is the climb up one, but on the balconies I also use the jump over one. So yeah, it works well. As you can see here, the character enters the collider's green area and hop, automatically he climbs without having to press E or anything. Then I realized that there was an issue. Here, you can see that the character has been like teleported. When he climbs up at the center of the wall, he's teleported upwards a bit, whereas when he climbs up on the side, there is no problem. So where is this coming from? Here we have the collider and the sphere above represents the A target to which the character will climb. So we have an A difference between the top of the roof and this target, different that we don't have on the two lateral sides. So, to solve this issue, I decided to create a new roof by editing an existing roof created by Synthi Studio. I opened this roof in Blender, which is a free 3D modeling software, and by symmetry and deformation, I made a new roof. Well, I have to admit I had a bit of trouble because it was my first time using Blender, but I'm quite happy with the result. Ok, so here is the final result, I skipped the details but I got some difficulties with the textures and the UV maps, but finally, it's ok. So you can see here the different colliders I added to climb on the roof, and on this side where there is no roof, I decided to not put a collider because the character will never climb from this side. Then I replaced the old roof with my new one, it's quite easy and quick to do. A little test to make sure everything works well, ok nice, and I've switched all the roofs in the wall scene. All the roofs you can see here, I've been manually changed. Ok, so this is what the wall scene looks like, with all the colliders in green. Concerning the ducks, I had to manually create colliders so that the character could walk on them properly, but otherwise everything else are colliders for parkour purpose. So that's a lot of them of course, but everything is generic as I use prefabs, so now if I add a new roof to my scene, it will already have all the colliders to climb on. 
There is another issue that came up quite quickly in the game. Sometimes the character climbs through objects. Like here, he just climbed through the wooden platform, while this platform has a collider, so the character should collide with it and not cross it. That's a problem, but as always, it's completely logical. In fact, the character is climbing on the roof because there is a climb up collider which says, hey man, climb on this roof. So the character climbs and doesn't care about the rest. So what I had to do was to rearrange all the different parkour colliders and I had to do that absolutely everywhere in the scene. It's very time consuming but this is the only way to be sure that the character can evolve in the scene in a coherent way. And now we see that he no longer crosses the wooden platform when he's under it but that doesn't prevent him from climbing on it if he jumps just a little bit before. Ok so here we are. The system isn't so bad, honestly, it's quite basic, but we believe in it. Now that there are for sure many things to improve. So I'm going around a bit to show you the city because you haven't discovered it yet. So we are currently in the demo scene created by Synthi Studio, in which I did a little bit of level design. Uh, there is an extension that we are going to see. And so the parkour system is quite fluid, but there are still some problems. On the roofs, you can see here that the character is shaking a bit, that's not really great. I have to redo the roofs colliders, and sometimes the animations are not completely right. The character moves a bit, he's leaning on something that doesn't exist. Here, for example, he's clearly leaning in the hair. So with time, I'll probably add other animations to improve the system a bit. And okay, whoa, this, this one is nice. It's the first time it's happened to me. So yeah, it, it proved that there are still a lot of things to improve and to correct because we don't want these kind of bugs. Obviously, you don't really want to get stuck in the building. But yeah, again, it's just a V1. So tell me what you think of it. Give me some ideas to improve it. Um, I don't know, maybe some moves you would like the character to be able to do. This first system will evolve for sure and I will probably do more devlogs about it. For now, it is something that I was able to do quite quickly thanks to Invector again. It works quite well, so I'm very happy with the results. Well, my dear friends, it's now the awaiting moment for you to leave a little blue thumb, to leave a little comment. It's completely free, it takes you 2 seconds and it makes me so happy, so please go ahead. Also, if you're interested and if you want to be alerted of next devlogs, you can subscribe if you haven't already. It might be a while before I release the next devlog because I'll maybe switch to After Effects and it will probably take me some time to learn how to use it. In any case, I really enjoy making this video, it's a bit of work but honestly there is a lot of satisfaction too. I think I'm improving little by little but I still have a lot of progress to make so again, don't hesitate if you have any advice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and see you next devlog. Tschüss!